As electric vehicles become more popular in our community, it's even more important that our first responders know how to stay safe when responding to incidents involving electric and hybrid vehicles. Our community is still learning about the risks associated with EVs and lithium ion batteries. One of the most significant challenges Queensland Fire and Rescue firefighters face at electric vehicle incidents is the complexity and unpredictability of these situations. Using the latest evidence and research in developing a training program that addresses the risks and the hazards of EV incidents can only benefit our firefighters. Nationally consistent training is an absolute no-brainer. Fires don't burn differently in South Australia compared to New South Wales or Western Australia. It's vital that we all come together, share the best techniques so that we can develop national best practice, train to that and be as effective and efficient in the field as we can be. The benefit of consistent and structured training across all jurisdictions will mean that all first responding agencies can effectively work safely and collaboratively together. For our Vic SES members, completing a nationally consistent training program is a significant investment in both personnel safety and professional growth. A nationally consistent training program means all fire and emergency services first responders are learning foundation level training developed from evidence-based research, as well as best practice from across Australia, New Zealand and internationally. The AFAC training program creates a shared language, standardised approach and unified doctrine. Ultimately, it means greater crew and community safety and better operational outcomes.